Is this thing free? No. Free. Damn it. Let's open it. All right. Once again, back with a new episode of Snake Oil, my plugin review series. Um, I test plugins and see if they are any good or just a waste of money. And today we're looking at a plugin I promised to review and it's also been requested two times I think by the same guy. Yeah let's do it. It's the TDR Nova from Tokyo Down Records. It looks like this. It's a parallel dynamic equalizer so it's it's an EQ which can be dynamic with a blend button with a mix button right okay so we've got a few images with just appearing in the familiar layout of a parametric equalizer each band also includes a full featured dynamics section allowing the processor to cover an impressively wide range of applications be it a master lacking density the drum burst blah 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 so in practice the processor covers a whole bucket of tasks parallel equalization dynamic equalization frequency Fre 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 frequency selective compression, multiband compression, white band compression. Of course, Nova features all helpers and workflow enhancements. Blah de blah de blah. So it's an all-in-one plugin, actually. What what does it cost? Cost 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 cost. No price. It's free. No price. No price named. So it is. Hey, free that. Is this thing free? Damn it! If this thing is free, I need to re-record my intro. No, free. Then there's no point in reviewing it, right? Because it's not a it's not a buying advice. It's just, you know. Okay, I'm uh, running it in Pro Tools, not my Pro Tools 9 setup. I, I bought this piece of aluminum, which uh, costed me 50 euros and enabled me to run Pro Tools, which I'm much faster with than Logic, which in which I did my old snake oil videos. And it will soon also enable me to uh, also review plugins that need an iLog for activation. So let's put it back in. So it's a jazz track called Sandstorm. You know by who. Okay. These buttons work, reminds me a lot of the Fab Filter uh, Pro Q with the gain button and also, you know, something like this. Is there also, there's also a Q factor. Is there a keyboard shortcut for that? No. Okay, so to be clear, it's got four bands. A Pro, Pro Q has got unlimited bands, but still it's free plugin. So four bands and we can do multiple selections with it. And oh, and we've got a separated high pass and low pass filter. That's handy. Okay, so this is really it's a really easy plugin to use actually. And yeah, and I'm also always boosting the top highs to check how good it is I have to say can be a bit more airy uh, it's it's a bit harsh the fab filter doesn't have that and the analog of course doesn't have that so it's it's not the most smooth sounding EQ but still it's free which is strange it does have does does it have it does have an analyzer does it also have mid-side processing? I cannot find it. It 
it's got mid side processing but you can configure it in mid or side so not both at the same time the nova is a handy toolbox uh, with all kind of stuff in it and because it's free it's always handy to just have it installed uh, if you're starting and if you don't want to spend any money in replacing your stock plugins it could be nice to to start out with this one it's very handy and it's got a lot of features a lot of built-in shit from normal DAWs don't even have so I will link it below check it out let me also know in the comments below what you think of this and also what you think of free plugins should i review more free plugins or do you think that it's almost impossible to develop a free plugin the nova just cool to have but if you really want to work on your sound for now i would advise to to really get a bit more in depth with fab filter they also have trials of course uh, so you can try it out for 30 days or something so not much i can say about this one does what it says it should do and just try it out it's free so with that being said Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, let me know with a thumbs down. If you want to support me through Patreon, you can do it over here. And you can check out my other videos over here, of course. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for your time. And bye-bye.